For years, SpaceX has been NASA's trusted partner in ferrying astronauts to the ISS aboard Crew Dragon. But anomalies have raised new concerns, and tensions are running high just days before the critical Crew-10 launch. Could these issues put astronauts at risk? With a track record of reliability, SpaceX now faces one of its biggest challenges. How are they responding? And is Crew-10 truly ready for liftoff? Stay with us as we break down NASA's safety concerns, SpaceX's investigation, and what this means for the future of human spaceflight, right here on TechMap. SpaceX and NASA are gearing up for the 10th operational flight of the NASA Commercial Crew Program, set to launch on Friday, March 14th from Kennedy Space Center. This milestone paves the way for Crew-9's return to Earth afterward, bringing home NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore, Suni Williams, and Nick Haig, along with Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbunov. For Wilmore and Williams, this marks the end of an unexpectedly extended stay in space. However, there are still some worries around the upcoming Crew-10 mission. This stems from a mishap on March 2nd, when SpaceX launched a batch of 21 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. The first stage booster, B1086, successfully delivered its payload, but was destroyed after landing. In response, the FAA temporarily grounded all Falcon 9 flights. This wasn't the only recent issue. On February 1st, during the Starlink 11-4 mission, a propellant leak in the upper stage prevented the vehicle from performing a controlled re-entry. As a result, the stage remained in orbit until February 19th, when it re-entered over Europe. Debris, including composite overwrapped pressure vessels, was later found near Poznan, Poland. Naturally, NASA had concerns about the potential risks these anomalies posed to Crew-10. A joint SpaceX-NASA investigation followed, with findings presented at a news conference after a flight readiness review. Bill Gerstenmeier, SpaceX's Vice President of Build and Flight Reliability, explained that during the March 2nd launch of Starlink 12-20, to about 85 seconds into flight, B-1086 suffered a fuel leak. Kerosene sprayed onto a hot engine component, vaporizing into a flammable state. However, there wasn't enough oxygen during ascent for ignition. But roughly 45 seconds after landing on the drone ship, just read the instructions, oxygen seeped in, sparking a fire. It subsequently blew out the barrel panel on the side of the rocket, just like it was designed to. The fire was all contained in the engine compartment, Gerstenmeier stated. He reassured that, even if the fire had occurred during ascent, it would have remained isolated to a single engine, allowing the mission to proceed safely. However, at the time of the briefing, SpaceX was still investigating the root cause of the fuel leak, saying, it's pretty difficult to determine what was cause and what was effect from the fire. A more thorough analysis began once the drone ship returned to Port Canaveral. Gerstenmeier also elaborated on the upper stage issue from the Starlink 11-4 mission. He explained that a small oxygen leak caused a thrust vector control line to freeze, leading to a loss of attitude control in the Falcon 9's second stage. The control was still good enough that the Starlink satellites were deployed properly, but when the deorbit burn came around, the rocket couldn't get in the right configuration for the deorbit burn, he said. So, as the software assessed, it skipped the deorbit burn. It passivated the stage, and this stage ultimately re-entered, I think, last week over Poland. Fortunately, this particular issue isn't a concern for Crew Dragon flights, as their missions are too short for such freezing to occur. Nevertheless, SpaceX has introduced additional pre-launch checks and tightened abort limits to detect any potential oxygen leaks in the second stage. To further validate the fixes, NASA's Launch Services program conducted its own independent assessment, ensuring no additional risks to Crew-10. Excitement is building at Launch Complex 39A in Florida, where both Crew, Dragon C, 210 Endurance, and Falcon 9 Booster, B1090, stand ready on the pad. 
The previous launch attempt on March 12th was aborted due to a problem with the ground system, not the vehicle's own. The mission is now targeting a launch no earlier than Friday, March 14th, at 7.03 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 2033 UTC. Mission managers met Wednesday evening and decided to waive off a launch attempt on Thursday, March 13th, due to high winds and precipitation forecasted in the flight path of Dragon, NASA wrote. Launch teams also are working to address a hydraulic system issue with a ground support clamp arm for the Falcon 9 rocket at Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. During the rocket's readiness, B1090 completed its static fire test. This test allowed SpaceX to verify fixes, with the mission set to undergo a final launch readiness review by NASA and SpaceX. The road to Crew 10 is now wide open showing SpaceX's high commitment to safety. For this mission, NASA astronauts Anne McLean and Nickel Ayers, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, astronaut Takuya Onishi, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Kirill Peskov will embark on their journey to the International Space Station aboard Crew Dragon Endurance. Their flight will mark the capsule's fourth mission, following its previous successes with Crew-3 Crew-5, and Crew-7. Originally, Endurance was scheduled for an upcoming Axiom crewed mission, but production delays with SpaceX's fifth Crew Dragon led to a swap, assigning Endurance to Crew-10 instead. Meanwhile, Falcon 9 booster B1090 will lift off for the second time, having first flown the O3BMP OWER 7 and 8 mission in December 2024. After launch, the booster will make a controlled landing at Landing Zone 1, LZ-1, at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Following a flawless flight, Endurance is expected to autonomously dock with the ISS on Saturday, March 15, at 1000 UTC. The crew rotation will then be completed as Crew 9 prepares to return home with Crew Dragon Freedom scheduled to undock from the ISS several days later. With everything falling into place, Crew 10 is set to continue the legacy of safe, routine human spaceflight and mark another step forward in SpaceX and NASA's ongoing partnership. It also demonstrates SpaceX's remarkable resilience, bouncing back swiftly from Falcon 9's recent challenges while reaffirming the high reliability of the Dragon spacecraft. Once again, NASA has placed its trust in SpaceX, assigning another mission under the Commercial Crew Program, a testament to the company's capability in safely ferrying astronauts to and from the ISS. This mission further cements Crew Dragon's role as a workhorse of modern space travel, seamlessly integrating into NASA's long-term vision for routine, cost-effective access to low Earth orbit. Endurance, in particular, has become a proven and dependable spacecraft, successfully carrying multiple crews over the years. Its fourth mission highlights the reusability factor that sets SpaceX apart, making human spaceflight more sustainable and efficient. SpaceX's Crew Dragon has marked a pivotal era in commercial spaceflight showcasing unparalleled reliability and achievement throughout its operational history. Since its first uncrewed test flight to the International Space Station in March 2019, Crew Dragon has consistently demonstrated its capability to safely transport astronauts to and from space. The historic DEMO-2 mission in May 2020, which carried NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley to the ISS, marked a significant milestone becoming the first private spacecraft to carry humans to orbit. Following this success, NASA certified Crew Dragon for operational missions, solidifying its role as a primary vehicle for crew transport under the Commercial Crew Program. Crew Dragon has since flown numerous successful missions, including several operational Commercial Crew Program flights and other notable endeavors, cementing its position as a cornerstone of modern space travel. Its reliability and efficiency have not only restored human spaceflight capabilities to the United States, but have also ushered in a new era of collaboration 
between private companies and government agencies in space exploration. The Crew Dragon's achievements are a testament to SpaceX's innovative approach and commitment to advancing space technology, paving the way for future missions that will push the boundaries of human presence in space. While SpaceX's Crew Dragon has become a cornerstone of modern crewed spaceflight, Boeing's Starliner program exemplifies the challenges of translating aerospace expertise into reliable commercial space systems. Launched in 2014 with NASA's Commercial Crew Program under a $4.2 billion contract, Starliner aimed to restore U.S. crewed launch capabilities alongside SpaceX. Despite Boeing's storied history in aerospace, including contributions to the Saturn V and ISS, the program quickly faltered. Technical failures plagued its development, beginning with the 2019 uncrewed orbital flight test that encountered critical software errors. These issues prevented the spacecraft from reaching the correct orbit, a crucial step in rendezvousing with the ISS. The test was intended to demonstrate Starliner's ability to autonomously dock with the space station, but instead it highlighted significant gaps in Boeing's software testing and validation processes. This setback was followed by further delays and a second uncrewed test in 2021, which was also marred by issues, this time related to valve problems that prevented the spacecraft from lifting off as scheduled. The 2024 crew flight test, intended to be a pivotal moment for the program, was again marred by thruster malfunctions during the mission stranding astronauts Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore aboard the ISS and ultimately requiring their return via SpaceX's Crew Dragon. These repeated setbacks, compounded by management missteps and an indifferent engineering culture, ballooned the loss of the program to $2 billion in 2025. This financial strain further erodes its reputation amid parallel crises like the 737 MAX grounding which had already strained the company's resources and public trust. The contrast between Boeing's struggles and SpaceX's successes is stark, with SpaceX's agile methodology and innovative approach, allowing it to adapt quickly to challenges and maintain a high level of reliability. In contrast, Boeing's traditional approach, often criticized for being overly bureaucratic and slow to adapt, has hindered its ability to compete effectively in the rapidly evolving space industry. Looking ahead, NASA has not yet decided when it will next send astronauts on Starliner, and analysts question Boeing's commitment as it explores divesting its space division. The program's struggles underscore the perils of fixed-price contracts for complex aerospace projects and highlight the stark contrast in outcomes between Boeing's traditional approach and SpaceX's agile methodology. While Starliner's future remains uncertain, its turbulent journey has reshaped industry perceptions of public-private partnerships in the new space era. The program's numerous delays, technical setbacks, and budgetary challenges have underscored both the complexities and the potential pitfalls of such collaborations. However, these struggles also provide valuable lessons that will likely influence future joint ventures between government agencies and private companies, emphasizing the need for flexibility, innovation, and a culture of rapid iteration and improvement. As the space industry continues to evolve, the story of Starliner serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of adapting to new technologies and methodologies, as well as the risks inherent in ambitious aerospace endeavors. Meanwhile, SpaceX's Crew Dragon stands as a testament to the power of agile development, rigorous testing, and innovative partnerships in achieving groundbreaking successes in space exploration. The contrast between the two programs highlights the shifting landscape of human spaceflight, where adaptability and efficiency are becoming paramount to securing a sustainable future beyond Earth.